now we will talk about next clin ok. So, what is the which one is the next one which we are going to discuss now. So, our next gland is adrenal gland ok. Now, what is the function of adrenal gland children? Actually, this gland is also known as the glands of emergency ok. So, first of all why it is known as glands of emergency and even before that we need to discuss uh, location okay that exactly where it is located as we are doing with all the other glands we have discussed the location also of all the glands which we have you know before discussing the adrenal we have discussed few glands. So, we have discussed location first of all. So, here also first of all we will talk about the location and I will just write the name which are which gland are we talking about it is adrenal gland. Okay. So, if we talk about the location of the gland ok if we talk about the location of the gland that where exactly adrenal gland is located. So, adrenal, adrenal gland is located just on the top of the kidney ok it is present on the upper side of the kidney. Now, as we say we can say that the kidneys are in pair in the same way we have two adrenal glands ok. So, we have got two adrenal glands. So, I just draw the kidney first of all So, this is the position here we have got ok just this see this is the kidney now this side is what we have adrenal glands ok. So, this is kidney and here we have adrenal gland ok. So, where what we are discussing we are discussing about the adrenal gland now where it is located it is located on the upper side of the kidney as we all know we have got a pair of kidney in the same way this on the upper part ok adrenal glands are present and how many like what are the numbers of the adrenal gland we have got two adrenal gland ok. Now, which is the hormone or which hormone is secreted by adrenal gland ok which hormone is secreted by adrenal gland. So, children the name of the hormone which is secreted by adrenal gland ok the name of the hormone which is secreted by the adrenal gland is adrenaline ok the see this is adrenal gland we are talking about where it is situated this is situated on the upper part of the kidney. Now, which hormone is secreted by adrenal gland. So, it is what adrenaline which hormone is secreted it is adrenaline adrenaline ok. So, this is the hormone which is secreted by the adrenal gland. Now, what is the function and why is it known as emergency gland or glands of emergency ok. So, it is known as glands of emergency ok. Why these glands are known as glands of emergency ok. This is the first thing which we have to discuss. So, children whenever some stress is there ok, whenever some stress is there these glands become more active. When these glands become more active more of adrenaline is secreted from the adrenal gland. Now, what is the function of the this hormone? ok what is the function of this hormone. So, children it has got lot many of functions you know it has got many functions it controls our breathing it controls our you know blood pressure it controls our metabolism 
So, this is very important gland the secretion the juice the hormone which is secreted by this gland is when it will be more see normally this uh, gland secretes adrenal hormone it is there it is being secreted but when the condition changes when we are in condition of stress okay it can be uh, stress it can be like the conditions like we are very scared of something okay so uh, maybe the result maybe you know some thieves have come in our house maybe uh, like uh, we are seeing some horror movie or maybe in a very small example that if uh, we are going somewhere and dog a very you know very dangerous dog is just behind us he is following us in all such kind of conditions and even you know uh, when we are uh, you know when uh, there are certain moments when we are almost we are fighting with someone isn't it so uh, during like when we fight anger so all or when, when like uh, during like we are very much excited for any of the reason like we have got very good percentage or uh, your, your father has given you a very good gift whatever kind of excitement it can be but in all these conditions this these glands become more active okay these glands become more active and they secrete more of adrenaline uh, hormone okay so all these activity all these uh, processes which processes in which i have just counted i have just uh, uh, i have uh, took the i have just taken the name of like breathing blood pressure okay metabolism all these are uh, you know regulated by adrenaline hormone what exactly happens children like why it is secreted more when we are in stress what exactly happens when we are more excited or when we are more angry you know why this all this happens so you know actually uh, suppose just now I give the example like a dog is behind us you know if a dog is running behind us we are very scared why we are very scared because now this gland we are scared of dog now this gland you know it it, it gets activated it secretes hormones okay so adrenaline hormone is secreted and when this hormone is secreted you know what is happening now we are very scared now we need to take some action isn't it action has to be taken now so this uh, hormone helps us to take some action now how action will be taken children we are scared and in this cause our heartbeat okay our heartbeat increases now when heartbeat increases means what our body needs energy to take action okay say for example we want to run from there now when when i'm saying like we want to run from there so what will happen we will need more of energy now how can our body get more energy obviously when more uh, blood is pumped in our body okay more blood means what the oxygen the amount of oxygen has to be more so all these are very very you know related or close to each other you know like all these are very very uh, uh, you know interlinked these you will be reading in detail in the higher classes just for now uh, like a simple thing that adrenal glands we have got two adrenal glands which which are situated where it is situated on the upper side of the kidney okay now this gland is responsible for the secretion of adrenal hormone these glands are also known as glands of emergency okay now why it is known as glands of emergency this uh, we were discussing about it maintains it regulates all various uh, processes breathing okay maybe blood pressure maybe heartbeat okay metabolism of carbohydrate all these are regulated by this hormone now it is known as gland of emergency because it is you know it is secreted more during the stress excitement anger okay the amount of the hormone get increased now how does it work that we were discussing about that suppose a dog is behind us we have to run 
so this uh, hormone will help us to take some action when we have to run that means we need more energy more energy can be provided by what more amount of oxygen has to be there in our body so our breathing increases circulation heartbeat increases so that the pump can the blood can be pumped you know the rate can be increased so all these take all these reactions takes place and finally we are above all what we are you know able to run from there okay so that is the thing that is uh, the way how these glands work so uh, we we'll just note down few points few important points okay so uh, and we'll talk about then other glands so first of all we'll just i'll just write very main main points of this so it is known as it is glands of emergency it is also known as glands of emergency okay now there are two adrenal gland okay how many adrenal glands are there children there are two adrenal gland okay which are which are located so where these glands are located where these glands are located so there are two adrenal gland which are okay glands which are located on the top of kidney okay now this the hormone secreted by adrenal is adrenaline okay so which is the hormone children adrenaline is the hormone okay the hormone secret secreted by adrenal is adrenaline okay this is the hormone which is secreted by the adrenal glands okay now which are the activities which are regulated okay so breathing blood pressure okay breathing blood pressure heart beat metabolism metabolism of carbohydrates okay all these reactions are regulated okay all these are all these processes are maintained by what adrenal gland so covers all these are regulated by adrenal adrenal gland or adrenal okay are you getting it clear what i am talking about see adrenal gland is there okay and it is responsible for the secretion of what the hormone so this hormone is responsible okay for the processes uh, all these processes okay now uh why it is known as glands of emergency i think it is very clear from this that it is secreted in the conditions of which are the conditions when it is secreted more so fifth one it is secreted during stress okay uh then what are the other conditions it's 
excitement okay when one is scared of okay when one is afraid or scared okay so even in the case of anger so all these kind of emotions are uh, controlled by what which hormone it is controlled by adrenaline hormone okay so this was all about the gland adrenal gland okay we just just sit down we are talking about adrenal gland children it is known as glands of emergency it is situated on the top of the kidney we have got what how many adrenal glands we have got two adrenal glands the hormone which is secreted by adrenal gland is adrenaline okay when it is secreted more it is secreted uh, more during the emotions like anger stress excitement okay when we are afraid of something we are scared of something so during all such kind of you know uh, um, uh, yeah, like when we are going through such kind of emotion so this hormone is secreted in a uh, greater amount okay now what are the processes which is uh, regulated so all these processes like blood pressure heart rate breathing all it, it all these are maintained by adrenal gland now just now i have explained how all the activities are related to each other okay so even it uh, helps in the balancing of minerals so this was all about adrenal gland now we will talk about the another gland now very important gland now we'll be talking about the ovaries and the testes okay we'll be talking about so we'll be talking about now ovaries and testes so uh, before we proceed to ovaries and testes i'll just uh, clean this thing so that it will become you know quite easy to um, explain on the same in the, at the same time i'll be talking about the ovaries and the testes also so till now we have discussed most of the glands okay like pineal we have discussed then uh, hypothalamus and pituitary okay then thyroid parathyroid thymus okay all these glands uh, pancreas we have discussed now we have discussed adrenal gland now we will be discussing about the ovaries and the testes okay so i'll just uh, please do these points so that i can shift to the next one now we will talk about the last two endocrine glands okay what are the two last endocrine glands children these are testes and what ovaries now uh, when we talk about testes and ovaries we all know in males testes are present and female ovaries are present now what are the function of the testes and the ovaries so children first of all see actually you know children what happen uh, there are certain hormones in the which are secreted by the pituitary gland okay there are certain hormones which are secreted by the pituitary gland these hormones are responsible for you know the uh, the stimulation of testes and ovaries hmm? now when these testes and ovaries get stimulated they secrete hormones testes secrete testosterone and ovaries secrete estrogen now now this testosterone is totally purely male hormone which is secreted in the males now this progesterone and estrogen uh, estrogen are the typical female hormones and these are secreted obviously by the ovaries in the females okay now both these both these hormones okay testosterone and estrogen now both these hormones are responsible for the development of the secondary sexual characteristics or the secondary uh, development or the development which is um, uh, which is seen during the puberty like what what are the development children which can be seen during the puberty or what are the development which takes place in the body during the uh, puberty in males we can say that the you know the developed mustaches are there beard is there voice is a little harsh isn't 
harsh means little bit thicker voice boys have then uh, that development of muscles then development of uh, you know like all the boyish kind of characteristics which all are uh, you know developed the changes which uh, occurs in males is due to the testosterone now this testosterone hormone is also responsible for the formation of this pumps in males okay now when we talk about ovaries obviously we are talking about females these ovaries are responsible for the secretion of the hormone estrogen now this is responsible for developing all the female characteristics female characteristics in the female okay like the high pitch sound or maybe uh, the development of the uh, you know the broadness of the hips maybe the development of the mammary glands okay all these characteristics are uh, due to the hormone estrogen okay now menstrual cycle is also uh, controlled regulated by uh, estrogen and progesterone even during the pregnancy the progesterone and all these hormones play very important role in the females okay so now we are talking about which glands student we are talking about the last two glands that means ovaries and testes okay we are talking about testes and ovaries so we will begin children with testes okay so we are here with testes obviously i would like to talk about first how these are produced okay so i'll first i'll talk about that how it starts get like how it uh, start like you know these hormone are secreted so how i have not written over here but testosterone is secreted by testes isn't it so children what is happening children first of all few hormones okay few hormones are secreted by pituitary okay few hormones are secreted by pituitary okay few hormones are secreted by whom by pituitary now these hormones okay these hormones are responsible these hormones are responsible for the stimulation of what this what is getting now stimulated of oh, uh, testes and ovaries okay these both get stimulated now testes are present in what children it is present is it visible yeah it is visible it is present in males okay and this one is present in females okay this one is present in males and this one is present in females testes are present in males and ovaries are present in females now now when these get stimulated children testes what it is going to secrete which hormone will be secreted testosterone okay now this hormone will be secreted this is n children okay so testosterone will be secreted by testes okay testosterone will be secreted by testes and ovaries secrete okay we are talking about both the glands simultaneously children we are talking about both the glands simultaneously at one time only we are discussing both the glands okay so here what i have written there are few hormones okay uh there are few hormones which you are going to study in higher classes okay so there are few hormones which are responsible for you know uh the, like they are uh, these hormones stimulate pituitary gland or i can say the uh pituitary gland secretes okay pituitary gland secretes few hormones okay few hormones are secreted by pituitary glands these hormones are responsible for the stimulation see pituitary gland is secreting pituitary gland is secreting few 
hormones now these hormones okay these hormones are responsible for the stimulation what it is going to stimulate children it is going to stimulate testes and ovaries okay now we all know testes are present in males ovaries are present in females now testes what are they going to secrete they will be secreting testosterone which is a male hormone isn't it now what will be secreted by ovaries now here estrogen will be secreted okay by what the it will be secreted by the ovaries now so what will happen now these both okay these both are responsible for the development of okay these both are responsible for the development of the secondary or the sexual characteristics in the males and in the females okay it will be responsible for the development of the male characteristics in the boys young boys and this hormone will be responsible truly fairly totally about developing femaleish characteristics in the females okay now we will talk about what are the male characteristics so what were the male characteristics we have read this in detail the uh, formation you know the formation of muscles then uh, you look know the mustaches are there then beard is there isn't it uh, then the voice okay there's a difference in the voice of the girls and the boys so that the, the uh this adam's apple becomes more developed and that is reason why the uh, voice of the boys are more you know it is more thick it is thicker than the girls it is uh, more harsh okay so that is the difference all these characteristics are due to testosterone okay now what are the characteristics of the females like we are talking about the secondary or we are talking about the sexual characteristics which um can which are there in the females during puberty so like take the example of the uh, broadness of the um uh, the area near the hip the fat gets deposited the development of the mammary glands you know the sound is quite different high pitch sound of the females isn't it so all these characteristics in fact the uh, you know the um, development of certain uh hair uh, in certain parts of the body okay so these all characteristics are due to what due to these two hormones this testosterone is responsible totally uh, it is uh, there in the it is a male hormone so it develops the male characteristics or the male uh, secondary characteristics are developed by testosterone now in the same way the female characteristics are developed due to the estrogen okay now again uh, during the menstrual cycle also these hormone okay this hormone even the progesterone these two hormones plays a very important role during pregnancy during menstrual cycle so we'll just just it now i'll just just it out i'll just write this now so what we are studying this uh, hormones we are talking about so we are talking about now what hormone testes and ovaries which are responsible for the development of the sexual characteristics in the males as well as in the females now pituitary gland secrete certain hormones these hormones are responsible for the stimulation of testes as well as the ovaries when testes and ovaries get stimulated testes secrete testosterone and ovaries secrete estrogen okay now what are these these are responsible for testosterone is responsible for the development of male secondary sexual or sexual characteristics and this one is responsible for the development of the female characteristics okay so now uh, i think this one is very clear and one very important thing children testosterone is also responsible for the formation of these sperms okay this one is also responsible for the formation of these sperms in the males now at the same time estrogen is also responsible for the release of developed okay release of developed eggs in the females so these two these hormone are actually 
responsible for the development of the sexual characteristics in the males and the females but the thing is that this one works in the males and this one is the one which is working in the females but at the same level that means the whatever secondary characteristics are uh, there these two are responsible for that okay so i'll just write few points just very little, little points so that you can remember the things okay so i'll just write from this side i can write over here also development of secondary okay development of secondary or sexual features in males and now i'm not able to write over here okay and this one the same in the females okay now what are the secondary characters development of the what will be happening here testes secrete testosterone okay which are now these are responsible for one formation of sperms okay harsh voice harsh or low pitched or thick voice in males okay then growing of hair in certain body parts okay development of muscles and all these okay all these are due to all these uh, characteristics can be seen due to the hormone testosterone okay now when we talk about the estrogen okay now what it is responsible for it is responsible for the development of the female characteristics so development of what will happen children main thing sperms are uh, formation of sperms so here yeah, development or release of eggs okay eggs means what children ova eggs means what ovums okay so development uh, development or release of eggs then voice isn't it low pitched voice okay low pitched voice soft skin you will uh, find the difference okay the difference is always there between the skin also the skin of the females will be more de uh, more sensitive more delicate more soft isn't it in comparison to the uh, boys so what will happen here the voice and then smooth and soft skin okay this is also one of the female characteristic then okay and then what is their children again this one the same one growing of fair on some of the internal parts okay now fourth one development of memory glands okay 
okay and even it plays an important role during menstrual cycle now i'm not able to write down okay so this is about what this is about the ovaries and the testes okay so there are certain hormones which are secreted by pituitary gland these hormones stimulate testes in ovaries when testes get stimulated it is going to secrete testosterone testosterone is purely a male hormone which is responsible for the development of the sexual characteristics in the males in the same way when ovaries get stimulated estrogen and progesterone get secreted now these are responsible for the development of all the feminine characteristics in the females okay now the features of the males and females we have discussed before also so uh, i don't feel like we need to discuss all this thing again so testes and ovaries i'll write over here so we can sum up in this way okay so this was about the last two glands okay now we have totally discussed uh, we have uh, you know now we know about the glands which are present in the human body and which are responsible uh, you know for the uh, different different features different different characteristics different different activities are controlled by the hormones now we have discussed all the characteristics plus we have discussed all the hormones so now actually children nervous system and endocrine system what is endocrine system children endocrine system means when many endocrine glands they work you know all these as we know many organs they form organ system isn't it so endocrine glands form endocrine system so nervous system along with the endocrine system it helps in the coordination of the body uh proper coordination of body is only possible when these both these systems work in perfect harmony okay now this was all about the hormones the glands now we will talk about what are the uh, like you know uh, the phase the reproductive phase okay we will be talking about the reproductive phase in the females okay so please note this point so that i can move to the next one